Hi guys. Oof, it's been so long since I've made a video. Sorry about that. I've just been lazy. <laughs> that's that's pretty much all it is. Um Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about something that I should have talked about a while ago. Because it doesn't even have to do with classes. We'll have another I'll have another classes video out very soon. Because those are much more exciting. It's just something that I forgot to mention that I should have mentioned a long time ago. Um, so if you have a character like this... Um, the way that this actually works is... Well, like, okay. You can do this fancy thing where you typecast a character to an integer. Like that. And you're, you're probably wondering what that is and the thing is there's this thing called ASCII uh, A-S-C-I-I -I, ASCII that's I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it um, and so oh god oh there we go <laughs> oh my goodness how much can I mess up Something wrong with my plus key. Okay, whatever. Okay, you'll notice we get 97. So you might be, I mean, what's up with that? 97, I thought this was A. And so the the thing is, there each character has something called an ASCII value. And that's basically an integer that represents that character. For A, it happens to be 97. So, <sighs> pretty much... Characters are like, I mean, A is 97, it has the value of 97, it's just converted to a character, um, because obviously you wouldn't want to print 97 here, you want to print A, um, I hope that made a little bit of sense, it'll make more sense once we do this thing. Oh my god, let's type. Okay, I'm just gonna see out, um... Uh... I'm gonna see out all the characters. And, uh... So basically all ASCII values going from 0 to 255. Uh, 255 is... Uh, 256 minus 1, and 256 is 2 raised to the 8th power, uh, so it's the maximum number that you can hold in one byte, and it's, you'll, you'll see it crop up a lot in computers. I might talk more about why in a later video, but that's not for today. So, okay, let's check this out. Okay, look at all that. Um, so you'll notice that up here we get these question marks, and that's because... Uh, 253 doesn't really have an as a, a character associated with it, so um, yeah, they really I guess they end at 127, so I could probably use 127, which is half of 256, or it's half of 250. I guess it's one less than half of 256. The reason it's one less is because we include zero, so there you go. Um. Okay, so now you can see that, like, A up here is 97, so, and then you, you got the entire alphabet after that. So I guess if you ever wanted to do something with the alphabet, you could use their ASCII values, so you could do arithmetic and just keep adding 1, 1, 1, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, basically I just wanted to show you guys that every character has something called an ASCII value. And that's, uh, that's what these are. And then down here, you, I mean, these aren't question marks because they are actually characters. Some of them are just weird, though. Like this 27 one. Um, I think it's, a like, a forward delete key. You know, like on Windows uh, keyboards when you push delete. Uh, or if you, you know, it does a forward delete like that. 
I think it's it's that character, so it like inserts that character, which then deletes this two, because this should say twenty eight, but it only says eight. So it's pretty weird. Don't know why you would ever need to use that, but you might, I suppose. And then there are all these here too. Fourteen is really weird. Just like here, let me just show you how messed up fourteen is. Cause you can uh you can go like this character fourteen and it'll convert fourteen to its corresponding character. This is weird. You know I didn't do an end at all, but whatever. No, it didn't work. Whoa, hold on, I thought this was maybe it's thirteen. One of these is really weird. No. I don't remember. Shoot. Well, never mind. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You never really need to use those up in this range. At least I haven't come across situations. I guess some people might, but mostly these are the ones that you have to worry about. And it can be useful. Like, as I was saying, if you wanted to iterate through the alphabet, you could do it like that. Okay, so one more thing is you might notice that, like, number 1 is number 49 in the ASCII uh, table, I guess you could say. So, uh, if you had a character, like, uh, that equals, like, 4 or something, and then you want to, say, make an integer, make that n times, um, 15 or something, you know, um, the trouble with this, well, if you typecast this to an integer, you might be expecting this to convert this 4 to an integer 4, which then gets multiplied by 15, which is uh, 60. But that's not what's going to happen, because uh, 4, when you typecast it to an integer, is 52. So you get 52 times 15, and you get this huge number, because it's going to be 52 times 15. I don't know what that is. 700, yeah, it's not that big, but... Whatever. There you go. Um, so yeah, so if you actually did want to do this, there are a few ways. First of all, if it's just a single number, single digit like this, you could put on your thinking cap and figure out that, okay, 0 starts at 48, and then 1 is just 1 greater than 0. So if we just offset all of these by 48, then we'll get a proper digit. So if we convert this to ASCII, and then just minus 48 from that, 4, 50 will become 52 minus 48, which is actually 4. So that's one way to do it, though that only works when you have single digits. But if you had like a character pointer, you remember character pointers, we talked about them earlier. That was some other number. Like that. Oh, double quotes. Um, I'm not even sure what would happen if you tried to typecast that to an integer. Probably not a good idea. But if you did want to use this as an integer, you uh, there's a built-in function in C and C++. It's A to I. Basically means character string to integer. And so then you put in your argument, which is the name of the character pointer. And so then, oh gosh, this is going to be a huge number. But at least, I presume that's, that's kind of 8, 50, 50. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, this number times 15, so that's, uh, that's how you should properly convert your uh, uh, characters to integers, at least when they're more than one digit. Anyway, that's all I wanted to, s to show you guys is the ASCII table and um, why that might be important when you're converting your integers to characters. Uh, we're going to get back to talking about classes in the next video, so um, that should be good. I'll see you guys there. If you liked this video, rate it high. If you didn't like it so much, rate it low. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And... Subscribe if you want to see more of the videos right as they come out. See you guys later in the next video. Bye.